Hello everyone. Welcome to Busy Lizzie's Budget. Thank you so much for being here with me today. We have a brand new binder for my son Max. If you saw my previous video with another binder that looks just like this, it's also a tweed binder, but it's purple. That was for my daughter. And today's video is going to be all about my son's binder and we are going to start stuffing it for him. I have $250 here to put in his binder and I am so excited to do this. Before we get started, let me just tell you, it has been a crazy day. This morning, someone came from an hour away to pick up my car and take it back to get some work done on it. This is my purple BMW. It only has 12,000 miles on it and it's already having problems with the brakes and a couple other things. So, Anyway, I was told it would be free, but they did charge me $50 for the valet service. Anyway, someone came early this morning, took the car, left me a loaner for free, which I'm scared to drive. And they said it needs, um, something is definitely absolutely wrong with the brakes, but they said they are going to replace them for free because it's under warranty, which is awesome. I asked them to do a detailed cleaning of the outside and inside because I just think that would make it look new again and it's just something that's important to me. And I work hard and I want to keep that car nice because it's a very expensive car. And I had to bring Diego in it the other day. I didn't have a choice. He had an appointment and things like that. So it's a little muddy. And anyway, so I knew that would be expensive, but they said that I needed two new tires in the back and it was gonna cost $2,091. And then they would need to do an alignment because it definitely needed an alignment and that would be about $300. And so they're naming all these prices and then $300 for the detail cleaning of the inside and outside, $50 for the valet service. So I was starting to freak out a little bit. And my husband said, why don't we just go ahead and have them they could, instead of replacing the tires, the two tires, they could just rotate them since they're doing the alignment anyway. And then it would buy us a little bit more time. We'd have at least the summer to save for tires and maybe find some cheaper ones near where we live. Anyway, I got it and I was so disgust, disgusted over the price of fixing everything when I only have 12,000 miles on this brand new car. So I just said to the guy on a whim, I said, can you just tell me how much the car would be if I sold it to you and I didn't do a trade and you just kept it? Because even though the kids use my Subaru, technically it is mine. So I just freaked out and asked them. So they're going to give me a call later tonight with an estimate. But I did get a message back and he said, I'm really sorry. My quote was wrong. It is not $2,091 for two tires. It is $891. So I said, well, don't do anything yet. It's already the end of the day. And now I'm, you know, might even think about selling it to you. So anyway, well, I'm going to talk to Matt tonight. Talk to him about, I think I'm very underwater on the car because I was underwater on my last car. It's a whole story. So anyway, it's the only debt I have. I don't have a mortgage. I don't have anything else. So I just have car debt. So that is the story. Um, I don't know if Matt thinks that's a good price for the tires or if we just don't want to pay that now. So we'll just have him do the alignment and switch the tires and then save up for some. I really don't know. But that is my story. Then Addie just told me about how she almost was very close to passing out at school and she may or may not have passed out, but she closed her eyes while she was sitting on the floor and when she woke up, five adults were standing over her. So sounds kind of like she passed out, but they ended up calling her father because he's a pediatrician and talked to him, but she stayed at school. And all of her teachers were checking on her all day long, no matter where she was. Whenever they bumped into her in the building, they were checking on her, which was really sweet. So she just told me that crazy story. And then I proceed to fall up the stairs. We have a metal spiral staircase. I was barefoot. I said to myself, oh, wow, I almost fell. Good thing I hold on to the railing. And right after I said that, I grabbed up to the next railing and I still fell, landed on my knee on the tile at the top of the stairs. I scraped it up, but it mostly just, I have a big bruise. So, and I have, I mean, I, my arm got it a tiny bit, but it was basically just my knee. So anyway, there's my five minutes worth of my Lizzie stories for you. And the, oh, and one more thing, Max had a final, 
project or final grade, he had to make some food for his, or he had to do some type of project for his Middle Eastern class. So he did a big presentation board, but he made baklava and brought that in today. So for when Addie was in, I believe it was geography, the teachers, or it was in one of her classes today, they said, the teacher said, we're going to take a field trip to the library and watch the seniors giving their Middle Eastern presentations. So Addie got to see her brother's presentation, which I think is so cool. I just love our school. And she said, Max already gave me some of the baklava to try, but I, she's like, I got two more little pieces during the presentation. And Max left a piece for me and Matt at home as well. So that that is the stories. And I just want to be annoying and remind you again about my Etsy launch and it is going to be Saturday, June 1st at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm so excited. Everything that you see in the launch will be ready to ship. And I did a video on just that. So if you have any questions, you can refer to that video. If you do go in my any description box in any of my videos, if you scroll to the bottom, it says here is a link to my Etsy shop. If you click on that link and shop through there, it saves me on some seller's fees. That would be greatly appreciated if you think of it and it's not too much trouble. Also, if there's anything else in my shop right now, I know there's not much, but if there's any other items you wanted in my shop, if you want to go ahead and put them in your cart now, then when the launch happens, you can also just go to your cart and click on my shop name there and it will bring you right to the shop quickly. So there you go. Those are just some helpful hints, but I know I'll see some of you there on Saturday. I am so excited about it, you guys. And I already want to say thank you because I already know you're going to take care of me. I truly appreciate it. And I'm already working on a new item. I'm so excited, you guys. This is just great. So Let's go ahead and get into Max's new binder. And like I did with Addie's, I'll explain to you what's going on and we will just begin. I tried to do somewhat of a close up. The very first challenge we are starting with is a challenge from Jenny at Simply Living Saves. And I got this sticker just in an order or happy mail. I got this sticker and I think someone gave it to me because they knew that I got a fish and that my son has fishes. and. I love the sticker. I've been saving it for something special. So this is it. So I'm going to talk to you about these and show you what's inside here. And then we'll go ahead while we have the envelope open and we'll start this challenge. So again, I think since I have 250 and there are 12 envelopes, yes, we get to spend about $20 per envelope. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you these two and then we'll begin it. So I'm actually gonna move the binder. This challenge is from Lindsay at Boy Mom Loves to Save. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say before she does that Lindsay has, I have booked our hotel for when she comes to visit me in the fall and she has booked her flight. So we are so excited. And then what we're gonna to start today, or maybe we'll do both together like I did with Addie's, but we are going to do Jenny's challenge. Jenny, I think Jenny has watched every single video I've ever put out and commented on everyone. She is such a sweetheart. She's so good to me. And we're gonna go ahead and start with her challenge. We are going to roll a 20 sided die. I thought that would be fun. I will use my dice tower and Let's see, I decided to use my, like, I call them Sherbert. They look like, I don't know, Sherbert to me or whatever, the ice cream type thing. So this is my 20-sided one, and we're going to go ahead and put in the dice tower. And we got a 19. So that means we are not going to start Lindsay's today. We are just going to do Jenny's because I don't know what the de denominations are on this, but Lindsay gifted this to me for this binder. So I was so happy about that. And I thought it would make things less busy if I put things backwards. So anyway, there we go. So $19. I'm really going to try not to mess anything up, you guys. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So if you think of it, tell me in the comments what your favorite challenge or challenges are. Some of these might be nostalgic for you because this book is all about my son and things he either liked growing up or things he likes now, stuff like that. So 
that starts off our first one. Our next challenge is from Lemon Ivy. I'm sure you all know that shop very well. And Max grew up obsessed with monkeys and he had monkey stuffed animals. He still has them, not on his bed, but he still does have them. They were very special to him. And him and I also, we both went through a phase where we were obsessed with hedgehogs. So I picked up both of these scratch ups a while ago from Lemon Ivy shop. And I will say I did cut off, not the monkey's tail, but the side of it. And I cut off here because it was really important to me that these fit in the envelope. It just helps my OCD. So um, I'm not sure which one we're going to start. The monkey one is more expensive. So let's maybe do scratch one on that first. So I'm just going to pick this one to randomly scratch. And it is a five. So I think I'll go ahead and scratch one on the hedgehog as well. So I will go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, and you guys know the rule. If, you just, if you're not sure if you should do one last scratch or not, whichever scratch you end up doing is gonna be the biggest number of all the ones you just scratched. So 10, 17, and five is 22. So 10, 20, one, and two. And I said this in my daughter's binder, but in case you missed it, I just wanted to say these, these are challenges I'm doing to save up money for when they both graduate college. They both ha have expressed a desire to go to college. And so that is what this is going to be for. I'm making them, I'm hand making them binders that they can keep forever. And I'll have budget sheets where I show how much I add and the date, and it will just all stay in that one binder. And there's probably gonna be 12 categories. So once we finish these challenges, we'll have to start putting them into those binders that are gonna be gifts for them when they graduate college. So I guess I, I will need to get on making those binders. So let's see, this next envelope, we have two challenges. My son does have a motorcycle. He paid for it with his own money. His dad did help him out a little bit, but he really wanted to ride a motorcycle. And he, let's see, I told him that before he even sat on a motorcycle with a helmet on, with it turned off, before he even did that, he needed to get his motorcycle license. So he did. He went to motorcycle school, class, whatever you call it. He um, finished that. He got his motorcycle license and he is a very safe driver. So in lieu of that, I found this one on, um, I am going to, like I said, I'm going to move the binder a little bit. I found this one on, actually Tracy opened it as Happy Mail, but it was from Reinventing Renee um, at Budget Nerd Co. So it was a three pack, but I'm just using one because it has a lot of spaces. And I also ordered a scratch off with a panda on a motorcycle from Carmen, the humble budgeter, but I'm still waiting to get that in the mail. So we'll have to show you that next time. So let me go ahead and let me also show you, I know this is random, but there was no other place to put this. It is a sneakers challenge and Max has been buying sneakers like no one's business. He went through the sneakers phase and then Crocs phase and I just felt the need to get this to represent him. So this shop, it says Tahini Latif Shop. So that shop will be linked in the description box in order. It will say envelope number three and it will have these links. And I've, I have been in touch with the owner. She is such a sweetheart. So please go check out her shop and let's go ahead and let's roll and see what we get. So I put down, we're gonna use a six-sided die. So I'll just go ahead and start. So we got a one, okay. Another one, <laughs> this is funny. A five, okay. Another five. And let's do one more roll and a six. So let's see, we have 10, 16, 17, 18. And let's do one on the sneaker challenge. I think that's 22. Let me just check again. So 5, 10, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, so we owe 23, 20, 1, 2, and 3 to this envelope.
And that gives, oh, that's right. I had this one turned around and that gives this a nice start as well. Okay, the next envelope has to do with when Max was a baby. So not a baby, but when he was more like a toddler, we gave him a robot room. I say room. You guys probably say room or I don't know, but for his bedroom, bedroom, <laughs> I don't know. You can laugh at me. It's okay. But I got this challenge as I really actually wanted it, but I got it as a freebie in an order from Steps on a Budget. It's Save 50. It, I love the purple background. It is so cute, but Max had all kinds of robot things in his room. It was so neat. And then this is Save with Sydney Bear. And oh no, I think I put this in the wrong one, but I didn't realize it. I couldn't remember why I wanted a TV for him, but it's because he was on TV. He was on TV for trivia though, but I just kind of combine these so they don't really go together, but I ran out of space of envelopes and I wanted to, I wanted to include both of these, but he is on, he was on TV this year for New Hampshire, uh, Granite State Challenge and he made it on TV. So I wanted to get a TV one to, um, just to remember that. So this is from Save with Sydney Bear. And we're going to go ahead and get these started. So maybe we'll start one. Maybe we'll start both. Okay, let's see. This says 1 through 20. So let's do one on here first. It is $100, but 1 through 20. Okay, since I've gone over 20 and a few, I'm going to stop there. I'm just going to do one on each. I love them both so much. They are such nice quality. And we got a five. And then on steps, we got a nine. So that's 14. I didn't realize I'm using up all my ones, but that's okay. So four ones. And that is a nice start for these. I had had this robot sticker forever, so I thought it was time to use it. So that worked out well put the money in the back and then I'm going to keep moving along. I'm not going to worry if these are too neat. This next one is from Lisa Grateful Me at the Happy Mailbox Co. Again, Max and I were obsessed with hedgehogs for so long and Max is big into music and plays an instrument and sings at school and stuff like that. So I wanted to do this one. I will say this is Lisa's envelope dashboard. I, it's, um, I printed it, cut it out and it's, it's on the outside of this envelope. I also put these stickers. These are from Madeline for Madeline Budgets. She had gifted me a pack of these stickers ages ago, and I finally found the perfect time to use them. So I thought that was really cute. So inside here, I just, it was a three pack. I just have one. I have the hedgehog and I'm going to use an orange marker and these just say numbers. I'm not even sure the total. It says let's rock. So I thought we would do this. So maybe we'll, since we're doing 20 on every challenge, actually, let's just do, let's do five, four, three, two, one. So instead of coloring in the whole thing, I think I'm just going to color in the number part. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay. That didn't take too terribly long and I think it looks nice. So we have, let's see, five, nine, 12, 14, 15. So we're, we're going to start this one with 15. I think that was the perfect amount. <laughs> Sorry if you just heard a noise. That was Matt's computer. <laughs> Didn't even know it was on. Okay. I love it when I go to open it, but I'm really shutting it. <laughs> So this next one is so much fun, you guys. I have been looking at this shop for, lurking the shop for so long. You probably already know just by seeing the challenge, but it, the shop is, it's from Shalonda, I think, and I might've said her name wrong, but Saving with Shalonda. And she sent me this beautiful handwritten letter and directions on how to play the game. I thought this is perfect because Mac, Max was in, their school did make did make it all the way to Granite State Challenge, but they made it through their normal trivia thing they do um, at the school that's called Quiz Bowl. So 
I thought in lieu of that, we would do a Jeopardy, a question game. And I will say I did cut these smaller. I had to trim these because I really wanted the envelope to zipper. And so this said $90 total. And I did cut that off. So that was not her. I cut these sides as well. And I rounded the corners after I did that. So I think I know how to play. I just reread her letter before I put this... Um, before I put the camera on. So we're gonna go ahead and play and I am so excited. So we use a six-sided die and we're first gonna roll for the category. So we got a three. So the third one is sinking funds reallocation. So now we're in this, we're in this column, but now we have to roll to find the number amount. So if we roll a one, we it's this 200, that would be rolling a two, three, four, five. If we roll a six, it's our choice, I believe. So let me roll again. So we're on three and we got two. So we're doing sinking funds reallocation for 400 and that's three over and two down. So three over and that's the second one down. So please tell me if I'm doing this right, you guys, or Shalonda, if you happen to be watching, please tell me because I have no idea, but I think I did it right. So that is just a one. So any, you guys, anyone can do this. It is so low income. And if you don't want to buy it because it's such low income, then you can still buy it and roll a dice and multiply or something like that. Here I go doing a, doing a little um, commercial for buying her products, but I'm just reminding you of all the options. So we owe one, so let's go again. So we got a one, that category is budget with me, and it's four down. So one, two, three, four, so it's this one right here. And I do wanna do a nice job scratching, but I don't wanna hold you guys up. So we owe $4. Actually, let me roll a couple more and then I'll have Matt fast forward while I scratch them all nicely. So four, that is Savings Challenge Sunday. I love these categories names and that's also a four. So one, two, three, four. That's a one. So yeah, let's go. Did you guys see that spit the dice out? That was so funny. That was a six and I think she said pick any amount so and save okay so or we get to pick if you roll a six pick any amount i think it means pick any um category one two three no no one okay one two three four five six one two three okay so I, i'm wrong so there is a six one so 100 envelope challenge if it's we now roll a six then we can pick the whichever one which we just did so i'm gonna pick eight um i'm gonna pick let's see which one haven't we done i'm gonna do 200 up at top up at the top so we got a lot of lo low numbers but i'm gonna go ahead and stop here so i'll have matt fast forward while i scratch these off nicely and i'll be right back Okay, so that was a really fun game and I look forward to doing more of Shalonda's games and things in her shop. She's a fabulous shop. You guys should all follow it. So we owe three, four, five, six dollars. And even though it's under 20, that's totally fine because some challenges are small, some challenges are big and it just makes it work out that way. So I'm so excited about this. I've been waiting for a while to play it and I knew this would be perfect for my son to represent him and his binder. So make sure we're still filming. We are good. I love it when the camera's working. Then again, both of my kids are, they are, they love Harry Potter. So when Max was in fourth grade, he read the series in four to six weeks. It was either a month or six weeks total. He was only in fourth grade and you guys, he didn't sleep at all, but he loved it. So when he finished, when he finished the complete series, I was so proud of him that I ordered him a special gift on Etsy. He was so, so touched by it that he actually started crying because he loved it so much and was so taken aback that I bought that for him. So maybe I will insert a picture or two right here if I can find them. So the next 
envelope. Like I said, is Harry Potter. I have a bunch of challenges in here, you guys, because I wanted to support a lot of people. Now, I am not a Harry Potter fan. I did read the first book aloud to Addie when she was really little because she wanted me to. And so we read, would read that. I would read that out loud to her at night. And sometimes she'd take, take turns reading to me. But yeah, but I'm not a big Harry Potter fan, so please don't hate me. But I got this four pack from AE Budgets and I love it. The colors are beautiful. I love everything about all four of those. And I love that the scratcher, scratchers are different colors, but I have to keep going because we have a lot of challenges. I also have one from the craft bin from my friend Dawn and this is Journey to Hogwarts and this is one we can just check off. And then I have the three pack from Ren at Mischief Managed Budgets. So we have all kinds of stuff here, but we're gonna, on this one, we're gonna start with the scratchers. So let me see, maybe we can do one on each. I'm not even sure, but I'm excited. So let me just go ahead and let me actually scratch. Okay, so wait a second. These two are $30 and then 40 and 50, just in case you were wondering, but let me go ahead and start scratching and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so we owe 10 plus 7 is 17, and then two more 5, so 17 plus 10 is 27, so $27, 10, 25, 6, and 7. So let's get these back in the envelope, and we will have a lot of Harry Potter challenges to do. That, that will be fun because I know there are a lot of Harry Potter fans out there. So put these back. I thought this would make a nice dashboard. I love it. And again, I'm not even going to fix that. I'm just going to keep on moving. I know Matt will appreciate that when he's editing after work. Okay, so the next one is from Allie at Planning with Boys and... They are music notes, and I got these because Max is very into music. As you guys, I'm sure I told you, he got nominated to be one of the band captains for his senior year, and he's basically on band field trips every weekend, and he's very big into music. So I'm going to, I don't know the amount, so I took out a few. Let me scratch around $20 worth, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I scratched three. I didn't scratch them all the way because I'm gonna be very honest with you. I throw these away, I don't reuse them. And the reason I do that is so if I throw these away, then I will need to buy more things sooner or more things like this from Allie and support her even more. So I didn't scratch them all the way because they're just going in the trash, but we got nine plus eight is 17. So. $17 and I'll put these two back. So 10, 15, 16, 17. I know I've done sets from Allie before and I know I have more in my collection. So go ahead and do that. The next one, these were actually freebie stickers someone sent me in an order. So I decorated the envelope with them and I think it came out really cute. But my son grew up on Super Mario and gaming and things like that. So let me show you what is in this envelope. There is this, this was gifted to me from Brittany at Lunova B and I did have to cut the right and left edge off and part of her name. So I'm sorry. This was a freebie though and a scratcher. And then I have this from, this was a freebie from Dawn at the craft bin. And then I have two challenges I think these were also both gifted to me from Akir at Cosmic Twins Designs. So I thought I would just have like a little Mario <laughs> uh, video game envelope. So let's go ahead and let's start this one from Brittany. Let's start this one today. And depending on what it is, we might also start some of the other ones. I'm not sure, but I wanted you to see everything that was in the envelope. Oh, I'm still looking for the number. So it says if you get a mushroom or um, 
the mushroom, it's uh, $5. So that's only five. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's do, let's do a Pac-Man. So we're at five. Oh, and now we're at 15. So how about we're at 20. So how about let's stop? So we'll stop here for today. But now we can kind of do a little bit on everyone's and I apologize that I don't use my desk vacuum. It's not working very well. And sometimes I don't like the scratchy noise and sometimes it makes marks on the challenges. So I haven't been using that. Anyway, we need to add the money. Let me not forget. So what was it? 15 and five. It was exactly 20. Okay. Definitely do not want to forget to do that. But yeah, I just want to make sure the Mario one was in there too. Okay. All right. And I did put a sticker on the back of this because I love axolotls and it says games a lotl. So I put a games a lotl sticker on the back of that one for the gaming envelope. The next one is kind of like I did for my daughter. I did a graduation themed, I did graduation themed challenges for one envelope. And this sticker is from Lemon Ivy. I do have more, more Lemon Ivy challenges in here. So I have the scratcher that we're gonna do for Addie. That is 150. Then I have a $100 scratcher. And then we, of course, we have the same two we had for my son. We have one, a, a mini challenge from Danielle Craft Studio. And the, this graduation one is from Just Roll It In Glitter. So that's who that's from. So I think, I don't remember what we did for Addie. I think we started this one. But for Max's, he had more scratching stuff or more. Um, printable. So for this one, I decided we're going to start by scratching. So let me get my tool out and we'll see what we get. This is so funny to me because I've never done multiple challenges in an envelope or I haven't done it often. So I'm still getting used to it. So 12 and 5 is 17, I believe. So 10, 15, 16, 17. We will just stop there. And yeah, we'll stop there for now. Let's see, let me just turn that around. Just thought it'd be nice if I left this blank so you can see the stickers and okay. So we have a couple more left, I believe. Let's see, we have two more. So hang in there if you're wanting to watch the whole thing, but you're not feeling it. <laughs> so this next one is the same thing for my daughter. I bought this from Weekly Budgets Co. And it's SpongeBob because they used to watch it with their dad growing up all the time. We all watch Scooby-Doo and I have this one for Addie um, and hers as well. I printed two, one for each of them. Then I have a Cowabunga Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones, which my son was so into them growing up. And I remember on, going on eBay and trying to win him the different characters. I don't know who this is from. It was a freebie. I don't know if it's from Carmen the Humble Budgeter or if it's from Save with Mama Bear. So if someone knows or if either of them are watching, please let me know because I do like to give credit to whoever made it. But it's really cool. And we have a Scooby-Doo one for Mischief Manage Budgets. So that is what is in this envelope. And we're just going to start with this SpongeBob one today. We're going to roll a 12-sided die. So let me grab the 12 and let's go. So we got a 10. I'm going to roll one more time. Okay, so we got 11. So we'll start the envelope with 11. I'm going to color in two stars to represent that we've rolled twice. So I'm going to color in the stars and I'll be right back. Okay, so that will be a surprise at the end. We won't know how much it is if, well, we know now, but we won't know after we do this a few times. So let's go ahead and put this back. And then we just have one more envelope and kind of like I ended with my daughters with all the ice cream. This is all candy and donuts for my son. So he's a big donut lover and candy lover. He's always going to the candy store half an hour away. So I thought this would make a nice dashboard as well. And yes, I did cut off all four corners. So it looks nicer than this, even though this looks beautiful, but I did trim this down. So I want you guys to know that. This is also from Brittany at Lunova B. And, oh, before I start scratching, we also have 
These were gifted to me from Candy at Stuff and Budget. We have the candy shop and the donut shop. Oops, let's put them down there. And then I have a donut from Wendy, the Thrifty Sewist at Thrifty Sewist Shop. So let's actually, we've already done some from, from Brittany. Let's do... Um, let's do one on each of these from candy. Let's, let's do one of each of these. So let me do some scratching and I will be right back. Okay. So I ended up scratching these three. So we have eight plus three is 11 plus five is 16, I believe, um, right? Five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight is 16, yes. Yeah. So 10, 15, and 16. I did think this would make a nice dashboard and it was the biggest, so, but we did not end up scratching that one, but that is all right. Okay, so let me put these back in and then we'll see what to do with the rest of the money. Okay, maybe I need to make two trips to put these in. <laughs> I'd love to know how you guys are all doing this week. I bet, oh, that's right. We end, I ended up, it doesn't fit. That's okay. It doesn't zip all the way, but I'm okay with that in the back. Um, my kids go to school till the 10th, if you haven't heard. So they're in school till the 10th, but they're getting there. And um, I know some of you, your kids are already out. That is Max's complete binder. So I hope you guys like it. Um, the binders themselves, oh, I need to link them. Somebody mentioned it. I, I will link them in the description box. They are from Amazon. They're very nice quality, although they were expensive in my opinion. So let's see how much money we have left. We have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and a few ones. So let's go ahead and do my hot air balloon savings book. And let's see where we left off. I love these books because... Why do I love these books? Oh, because you just do a little bit at a time, but then when the whole book is done, you're surprised at how much it's saved. So this is one that I printed off my computer. From now on, I'm using my U UPS store. They're printing for me. It's very expensive, but the images are even more beautiful and vibrant. So anyway, let's go ahead and see where we left off. So we're starting another one. So I don't confuse myself. I'm working my way from left to right. So we will do two today as we've been trying to do per video. And there will be four of this one in the launch and then four of the lower version one in, in my launch on Saturday as well. So they're all made, ready to ship. I just need to make some listings, but I am, and package stuff up, but I am so, so, so excited. Can't wait for you guys to see everything. So 12 and 11, so 12, 13, 23. So 10, 15, 20, ooh, ooh, 21, two, three, perfect. <laughs> So that worked out really nice. And these books have 15 pages in them. Let me see how many fives we have left. 5, 10, 15, 20. We can do one roll on Lisa's Duck Challenge. So let's go ahead and get out the die. So see what we get. We got a 10. Remember when I wanted a 10 for so long and I never got one? <laughs> yeah, that was kind of funny. Okay, so we just have time to do one today. And so we'll put 10 in here. So we don't need to make change. That was perfect. So let me just throw the money in where it goes. And we'll put that aside. We have still have ten dollars left. So this book was gifted to be gifted to me by my friend Melissa O. She does have. I need to remember what her her Etsy shop name is. I will link it in the description box. But um, she made that Wizard of Oz book that she gifted to me that I showed you guys. It's absolutely beautiful. She purchased this for me as a gift from a shop called A Little of It All Budget, and I just found out that that shop. Oh man that that shop also has, what's it called? Um, they have a channel. Her name is Taylor and she has a, uh, she has a big YouTube channel as well. So 
That is so cool. I'm going to borrow a dollar from my wallet. Okay, it's not a dollar I'm saving, so that's good. So 10 was not free. So it's just the numbers 1 through 20. So I, I borrowed, stole a dollar from my wallet so I can do this number 11. This little book has been so much fun. I've been having a blast incorporating little books into my videos. I am like obsessed with little books and look how nice that looks. So thank you so, so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate you all. I hope you loved, you love Addie's new binder. Tell me what your favorite challenge is. And I just, again, I appreciate you all so, so much. And I will be back Friday. We will be doing Roxas Savings Challenge book and we will be doing that to with my, with some Etsy money I earned, a little bit of Etsy money I earned this month, and we are going to be, and that gets put toward my IRA. So I hope to see you then. Thanks again so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.